Britain, 1215. A row kicked on between King John and the barons over money. They rowed the king out to an island in the Thames and he couldn't come back until he had signed the Magna Carta. The important bit is Clause 39. No free man shall be imprisoned except by the lawful judgment of his equals or by the law of the land. No one could be locked up without being charged before a court and everyone was proven innocent until proven guilty by a jury. This was called habeas corpus. In 1772, a captain of a slave ship brought one of the slaves back to England. So some Quakers got a writ of habeas corpus. The slave was brought before a court, but as there was no charge, he was released. The judge ruled that slavery is so odious that nothing can be suffered to support it. A few years later, Britain banned slavery completely. Habeas corpus was suspended in Britain during the dark days of 1940. The Nazis were on the brink of invasion, so Churchill passed a law giving him the power to lock up fascists without a charge. He hated the idea and called this power the foundation of all totalitarian government. When he knew that the Germans couldn't invade, Churchill tore up the law and the fascists were released. In 1971, the British government tried to crush up the IRA by bringing in a new law called internment. This meant the government could detain suspected terrorists without charge, but it completely backfired.